Well then, welcome. In this video, we're going to look at how to one of the ways to optimize your database in creation in Excel, and that we're going to talk about the naming convention. So, all the naming convention is is when you're naming your tables or your sheets or your or your columns in your database, you want to have a, a standard set of rules, which just makes opti optimizing your database and reading it and understanding it much easier as it gets bigger and bigger so let's let me show you what i mean let's first create a table highlight the area control l control l enter so there we've got our first table so as you create the table you can see if you click inside it's got a, it's it's got a, an area to create a name so this name here must always be snake case and must have no spaces so that so an example would be Let's say it was employee daughter. Employee, oops. So it wouldn't have a space it to underscore like that. So that's that's the way you got to name the, a, a table. And another rule would be, if you want to if if you want to name it employees, you never name it the the multi the you always name it the singular. Name. So if you if you want this table to be called employees, you don't name it employees, you name it employee. Okay, all these rules often don't make sense, but you've got to just go with blind faith in the beginning and understand later. And then also the sheet, the naming convention for the sheet's exactly the same. Control C, rename the sheet. Control V. And then another thing when you when you're naming your, your columns. If this column is going to be the first name, again, you don't, you don't name it first names. You always name it singular, first name, not names. If this will, this will be surname, not surnames. Date of birth is an example. And then you, your, another naming convention is always your first column of every table. It's always called ID, small caps ID. And then, not for this video, but just an extra little tip, you always highlight the, the column, control one, and make it a whole number. And the reason you do this is because when you're joining all your tables, when you've got a hundred of these different tables, you join them by this ID column, so it makes reference referencing much easier when you've got numbered um columns in your first in your first column is what i mean is always numbered so it's a whole number so it's easy to reference so then you, you have you know many different tables eventually you have a hundred when you're confident so the first one will always be rd always rd okay highlight the column control one number whole number this one, let's rename it, let's say bank statement. Okay, let's let's see this table we'll name let's just call it bulls. So it won't be bulls, it'll be bull. So that's 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 it for this video. Just a quick one on the naming uh, it's a small video, but a vital one. And if I can just mention another thing, it's it's it doesn't always make sense in Excel why you're learning its naming convention. But when you when you become a, a a superstar on creating databases in Excel, which will happen reasonably quickly, is you suddenly start discovering a, a thing called SQL, Structured Query Language, and a Relational Database Management System, which is so much better than excel once you know excel because if you try and learn it without knowing how to do database management excel the learning curve is very steep but if you learn excel database management first and you move over to sql you know it's very simple to do so even though you don't think you're going to use sql it's better just to use the even use the naming conventions and all the rules as if you you're definitely going to sql even if you don't want to ever move to sql but uh, from personal experience after working with database on Excel for probably 20 years, 
um, I, it was a very difficult decision for me to to learn something else. But I I uh, took it upon myself to learn, and I was so happy I did it. So that's about all for this video. If you like what you see, please click the like button below. Hit the subscribe button if you want to be notified of any new videos I create. Feel free to share this video with anybody who you feel might have a use for it. And make any comments in the comment section below if you want to. Thank you for watching.